And uh, about working here, it's uh, it's really hard, and you know, but uh, one needs a way to move forward and also make a living, and so she does this to to to, to keep herself busy and, and, and also again using uh, religion and God be able to continue. So I think it, yeah, uh, I don't know how I can explain you how they kept the people here, and there's some there's some something very difficult to explain you because uh, it will be taking long time and it will be make me feel bad. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But if you have some question after this thing, after this thing you'll be asked, there's no problem. Yeah, I will tell you. Because they are the most socializing people. Very much. Which means now the reason why they killed each other, we are baseless. Sure. Because now they're living together. You cannot believe how someone who killed your family now is living next to you and you don't do nothing. You just and even you invite him and you share like nothing happened between you. So which means now it was like nothing. For the reasons to kill was uh, I don't know. I can say it. it's it's very hard. Can open questions for you if maybe you feel like you can ask any question of curiosity, no problem. My friend can help you and me too. It just killed me that, you know, people did this from nine to three. They did this all day in order to break through that brick wall. And that was the image that got to me when I saw that hole in the wall. And that was the most powerful image because I was just imagining this happening over and over again. And then I just started thinking how this is going in different countries right now, how it's going to Congo, how it's going happening in Sudan. And it's not stopping. If you also knew me and you knew yourself, uh, you wouldn't have killed me.